All right, what's going on, everybody? I wanted to uh, make a quick tutorial on how to do the, uh, using a Stream Deck and OBS tools, how to do the uh, panic button um, for the hate raids that have been running rampant on on Twitch. Um, I can't take full credit for this. I, I saw this on Nutty's page, and uh, uh, he did it through, you know, like StreamBot and using voice commands and fancy lights and stuff because he's, you know, way cooler than anybody else. I can do it on Stream Deck. So um, it's pretty simple to do. Once you, if you have a Stream Deck and you have OBS, um, and if you don't already have these tools installed, it's pretty simple. Pick up here, go to plugins, do a quick search for OBS, install OBS tools. Then do a quick search for Twitch. And install the Twitch tools. Once installed, you're good to go. Just pick, uh, pick any open spot. We're going to go to the Stream Deck stuff here. And what you're going to want is a multi-action switch. Drag that over. Next, because it changes everything here, just bring a delay in there. And now we're going to go to OBS Studios. We're going to bring a source in. And then we're going to scroll down here to the Twitch. And what we're going to want to do is bring in a bunch of stuff. So we're going to be bring in like sub chat. Uh, we're going to bring slow chat. We'll bring in play ads clear chat we'll bring a chat message in and we'll create a stream marker all at once so what we're going to first we're going to do is going to take this delay we're going to bring it all the way down here to the bottom and then we're going to take the chat message and bring that right below there these two are the important ones that need to be separated so on the stream deck delay you want to change that to about three seconds so three thousand milliseconds and then your chat message on your account put in whatever message you want to alert your followers or your viewers that uh you know you've enabled some hate raid panic button or something, right? You can put any message you want there. And then up here on your source, what you want to do is you want to shut off all your stream labs alerts, any sort of alerts that you have. Uh, so they're not just sitting there going crazy. So on your stream lab source, go over here, make sure it's deactivate, go to your collections, your live stream, and pick your like your Streamlabs alert box. And what that's going to do is shut all the alerts off so they're not sitting there blowing up. Switch your uh, Twitch sub chat. You want to make sure that's activated. Make sure it's on your account. Slow the chat at least 120 seconds. Activated on your account. We'll run an ad for, say, 120 seconds on your account. We want to clear the chat on your account and create a stream marker on your account. Now, once you hit this button, it does all of that stuff, slows the chat, puts on sub chat only, clears the chat, plays an ad, you know, and creates a stream marker for, in case you need to send it off to Twitch and show them what happened. Now we're going to go over here to, to part two of the same button. And what we want to do is simple here is we're going to bring in um, uh, the slow chat, the sub chat, and then your source that uh, we turned off. So bring in your source. Go back to your source, make sure that's activated on your whoop, live stream and turn on your alert boxes again. Turn sub chat, make sure that is deactivated on your account, slow chat, your account, deactivate, and that is it. It's that simple. You're gonna click that button one time. You can change the icon too, to whatever you, you know, whatever you like. There's a bazillion icons up here in the Stream Deck library. You can put it whatever you want. You know, you can put a big bright red, um, you know, panic button or any icon you want. And when what's going to happen is when you push that button, it's going to do all those things, eliminate the hate raid. And then, you know, when everything cools down, you push it again, puts everything back to normal, turns everything back the way it was, and you're back to your stream. Um, I, again, I can't take full credit for this. Nutty over on Twitch. Uh, he's also on YouTube as well. Uh, the guy is an OBS god, and uh, definitely give him a follow. I've learned so much from him. I can't even... Everything I know about OBS, I've basically learned through watching Nutty. So I hope this helps, and um, let's, you know, maybe Twitch will step up to the plate and, limit and uh, you know, get something in there that will handle it better than we can. Uh, but in the meantime, this does work, and it works actually pretty well. So I hope you enjoyed watching. Hope you learned. Um, that's it. See you next time.